Hey everybody, in this video we're moving into distribution now and specifically we're talking about distribution network, the configuration of and some of the trade-offs. Now, if you're not familiar with what network configuration is, we're trying to figure out it's kind of the who, what, when, where, how, why so of, of distribution. So what factories do we want? What warehouses do we want? Uh, what transportation lanes will we use? What production should we produce in each of the factories? who they should ship it to, how much we should have in the different warehouses, uh, for what customers, et cetera, so we can maximize the reach to our customers. And so in this section here, this video, we're talking about the trade-offs that are involved in setting up this network. So we're looking at things like total cost, inventory investment, customer service, lead times, response times, inbound, outbound, transportations, costs and such. And so when trying to set up a distribution network, or really any supply chain network for that matter, we're always pushing to find the optimal network setup. But the reality is, there's always trade-offs to be made because some decisions at this point are mutually exclusive of each other. Some of the traditional trade-offs, like for example, um, response time versus efficient use of material, some of these traditional trade-offs still hold today. And in fact, they exist in every, every endeavor. So how much inventory to carry and where and how close to the customer and how much should we carry the lot size and how many setups and costs and efficiency versus responsiveness, et cetera. All those places where you feel like darned if you do, darned if you don't, they tend to exist here. Now, knowing these trade-offs exist are important because they do a couple of things. They force you and I to decide which are most important to address first in light of the goal of our network. Second, to make sure our decisions to make sure our decisions with respect to the trade-offs are in alignment with and supportive of the network strategy. And finally, lastly, to challenge us to see if we can break and resolve the trade-off we're facing with innovative solutions. So the impact of all this is it forces us to improve, focus on what's important, and ultimately this, of course, can lead to competitive advantage, more profitable business, and ultimately more sustainable financially as a business as part of taking care and meeting the needs of customers.